Okay, good morning to all of you. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Today we are here for the task of the lecture. This is the confirmatory task of your GTO. And this task, the GTO will test his doubt and clear his doubt about you regarding your communication, regarding your content, regarding your personality. How do you speak? What is your power of expression? Okay. In this task, he will be provided a card. In this card, there are four topics mentioned. Priority wise, they are below average, average, near about average and above average topic. You have to choose a topic of your choice. Go out of the room for the three minutes. Prepare your topic. While preparing, it's my advice that just only prepare the points in the chronological way. Okay. What is it? Why it is in news? What are the constitutional provisions regarding this topic? What are the advantages? What are the challenges? And what should be the way forward? And this is a chronological way. Okay. Then after you have to come in. When I bell the ring once. Okay. Pass me the card. Please tell me the topic. And then after you have to start your lecture. For the next 3 minutes. On 2 minutes 30 seconds, I will ring the bell once. Means only 30 seconds are remaining. And this is the warning bell for the next candidate that he or she have to go out of the room for preparing his topic. Got the point? At the completion of 3 minutes, I will bell the ring twice. Means time over. The next candidate should start his lecture. Got the point? Yes, sir. Okay. First candidate, please come. Okay, start. Good morning, gentlemen. My topic is India as a world leader. In this modern era, our world is divided between two parts. One is northern part and other one is southern part. In which northern part is the most developed one and the southern part is this time developing nation. In which India is the one which is amongst the most developing nature, uh, uh, developing nation amongst all. <coughs> Um, India is uh, trying to get veto power in UNESCO because India is uh, growing uh, very well and India's economy is also growing and India is uh, growing in space sector also in this in the recent time India launched a Chandrayaan 3 mission which was successfully launched by India on the southern, po uh, southern part of the moon which is a big success for us because still no one has successfully landed on the no, uh, southern part of the moon is, uh, is uh, like this India is growing space sector and if we talk about uh, land, is, uh, land wise India is also developing uh, its uh, economy India is uh, acting as, as a mediator amongst all because in the recent G20 presidency India showed other countries that how India is acting as a mediator amongst all nations India showed that how it is neut uh, neutral amongst all. India is uh, avoiding all wars uh, by other nations. India is trying to make a good relationship with among all leaders, among all nations. India is trying to um, uh, make a good tradition with other nations. Like this, India is going on the uh, becoming as a world nation, world leader. And then uh, talking about the problems. There is a one problem arising this time that uh, Canadian President Mr. Justin Trudeau is uh, saying that uh, the he, that India has killed their one uh, their two uh, uh, citizens one uh, amongst is Naji uh, because uh, India's uh, uh, India's uh, one of the most uh, uh, trade, uh, trade, uh, terrorist uh, one is uh, Naji which uh, took citizen, citizenship of Canada. Canada, Canada. This is the biggest <coughs> problem for India. India should maintain a good relationship with the Canadian uh, president. India should do, do a diplomatic talk with Canada. But uh, USA is trying to make a uh, uh, trying to make a pressure on India. But India should have to manage this. To become a world leader, India is uh, well growing in uh, space sector. India is well growing in economic sector. India is well growing in trade sector. Like this, India can become a world leader and uh, India should also get a veto power in UNESCO. Thank you. Okay, the body language was stable, eye contact was okay, fluency was also there in the first half of the lecture, but in the later phase, that fluency was lost. Again, the that problem which oh. we are having from the yes, starting, dragging the words, uh, is, uh, im, uh, are, uh, like that. Please work on that because under pressure, those things are coming out of the pressure. 
ठीक है समटाइम्स वर्ड्स वर नॉट क्लियर आप कहना क्या चाह रहे हैं उस वर्ड का क्लियरेंस बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं आ पा रहा है ठीक है कंटेंट वाइज आपने बात किया परमानेंट सीट की दैट इज नॉट इन यूनेस्को दैट इज इन यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल दैट इज यू एन एस सी स्पेलिंग में तो वही था अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट नॉर्थ साउथ डिवाइड दैट इज ओके एक्टिंग एज अ मीडिएटर और न्यूट्रल कंट्री मीन्स द नॉन लाइमेंट मोमेंट दैट इज ऑल्सो ओके यू मस्ट टॉक अबाउट द पॉपुलेशन एज इंडिया राइट नाउ इंडिया इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर कंट्री इन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड सो हाउ वी कैन टेक द एडवांटेज ऑफ दैट थिंग इन आवर इकोनॉमी इन आवर ट्रेड ओके रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स ओके यू मे लीव या नेक्स्ट ओके स्टार्ट my greetings to everyone today's topic is g20 as we all know india has been the host of g20 recently in which was held in september 9 to 10 in new delhi in bharat mandapam as we all know that g20 is the combination of 19 countries and one union that is european union and recently g20 this g20 has included another union that is the african so when we talk about g20 this year they have decided on many uh, many situations they have discussed many situations that is the increase in the climatic temperature they have talked about climatic temperature and they have also decided and uh, they have uh, made solutions to how to decrease the temperature with 1.5 degree celsius and they have also talked about how the women empowerment can be grown so they have talked how this uh, they have uh, made many So uh, they have made many solutions how we can uh, make the women empowerment growing in this uh, in this society. And not only that, how India is benefiting from the G20. We have seen that there was a recent talk about I M E U, like uh, sorry I M E C, which is Indian Middle East Corridor. Indian Middle East Corridor can help India to connect with Europe as well as Arab, which will make the trading. very much fluent like very good because it will cost very less and the exporting and importing will be very good if the uh, imec is been developed is been successful then upcoming in 2030 india has been said that it will uh, it will increase the economy will increase and it will reach the fourth largest economy in the world with 1 trillion dollars in 2020 uh, 2030 and also we have seen that india has made a pact with france where france has stated that he will give the necessities which are required in the space uh, in the research for the space and not even that we have also seen that in the g20 there was also a talk about the debt countries the developing countries who are going in debt how the developing countries are facing them because we have known that developing countries most of the they have taken uh, the loans from the uh, the world banks and also from the other countries they have also decided how we can stop that debt and they, how they will be managed to develop the country and not only that we have seen in my conclusion i would like to say that we have seen that in g20 india has faced a very uh, india has invited 11 other members to this uh, g20 which will help the uh, relation with the uh, india so if the india is getting a very much good relations with the other countries it will also help in this economic trade and thank you so much okay jo eye contact was okay body language and tone was okay again that warning bell suffer sure fluency in the last phase of your lecture rate you are lacking with the again time management there was lot of uh, topics on which you can or you should talk but you are not able to talk on those topic because you are not able to manage the time yes sir rest of the things are okay you have talked about the imec yes sir achievement ha <laughs> uh, you also must talk about the achievement and what are the challenges we have faced in this g20 meeting okay Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Start. Jai Hind, everyone. Today, my lecture topic is Quad. Quad is a quadrilateral security dialogue which includes four countries. That is India, Australia, Japan, US. 
The idea of forming the Quad was first sought by the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in 2007. But after having the multiple talks, it was not successful as Australia was not uh, ready to join this group due to the various pressure caused by the China. But at last in 2017, it came into existence and all the four countries were its member. After that, we had a multiple talks in the Quad. Talking about the significance of Quad is as it includes the country which is sharing the uh, oceans like Indian Ocean, the India and the Australia and the Pacific Ocean to Japan and the US. So it includes the uh, big ocean region. Non-verbal part of communication was okay but in the later half after that first bell, the flaws were started coming. Okay? Yes. Eye contact was okay. You must need a pitch modulation. Kahan pe pause hai, kahan comma hai, kahan inverted comma hai, kahan. Is cheez ko apne speech mein laiye. They yes, are not sir. only for the writing purpose, they are also for the speaking purpose. Yes, okay? Sir. Yes, sir. Talking about your content or verbal part of communication, that is Abe. Sinjo Abe. Sinjo Abe. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, you must talk about the specific interest of India through COD. Instead of talking all the countries, your lecture should revolve around the interest of India only. Because you have wasted approx 1 minute and 10 seconds while giving the views of other countries. You can use those time for the interest of India. Apart from that, um, you must talk about the way forward and how India can be benefited from this squad. Okay? Yes. किसी भी जो आयर के टॉपिक रहे जहां इंडिया डायरेक्टली रूप से नहीं है उसमें इंडिया का कितना इंटरेस्ट है कितना फायदा है इस बारे में आप बताने की कोशिश करें अपने लेक्चर रेट में ये यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल में हो सकता है ये यूएन में हो सकता है ये क्वाड में हो सकता है यूरोपियन यूनियन में हो सकता है ये किसी भी आसियान सार्क और ऐसे कंट्रीज में हो सकता है ठीक है रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आर ओके सो कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर द लेक्चर रेट नेक्स्ट टाइम व्हेन वी मीट I hope that your performance will enhance by 10 times. Okay, till then have a nice day. Thank you.